good morning students in the previous lecture we have covered question number 1 of the exercise 6.2 that was based upon the product of binomial with the binomial i have told in the first lecture that if there are two terms in the expression that is known as binomial okay if there are more than two terms it means three or more than three terms are there that is known as polynomial okay so first question we have done in the previous lecture now i'm going to start question number 2 in this question you have to find out the product of the following algebraic expression but you have to use some method you have to use row method for the part a and b and column method for the part c and d okay so here is your first part a part a part is this a square minus 8a minus 5 this expression you have to multiply with the second expression 7a square minus 4a minus 5 okay so you have to mention first of all that which method you are going to apply in this question you have to use row method so mention at the top that you are using here row method okay so this is the row method you have to multiply this a square this one this one a square with each and every term of the second expression okay so a square you have to multiply with 7a square minus 4a minus 5 then minus 8a right here minus 8a minus 8a you have to multiply with this second expression then minus 5 you have to multiply with the second expression means means each term each one of the term of the first exp expression will get multiply with the second expression okay this is the row method that uh, we we have done in the first question okay that first uh, first term uh, you have multiplied first term with this uh, expression and then second term with this expression okay similarly we we have to apply in the row method uh, for the case of polynomials now multiply a square with this expression it will be 7 a square a square will be 7 a raised to power 4 minus minus 4 a square into a a cube minus 5 a square will be as it is now come to this side multiply minus 8a with all the terms okay and then come to here you have to multiply minus 5 with all the terms one by one okay now see to it after multiplication these all are the terms of your expression now you have to check it out now you have to solve further more okay so in this first of all check it out which is the bigger power bigger power is a raised to power 4 so 7 a raised to power 4 is there any is there any other term which is having the same power no okay so you have to write 7 a raised to power 4 as it is minus 4 a cube is there any other is there who is having a cube yes this one so you have to solve these two terms minus 4 a cube minus 56 a cube 56 and 4 it will be 60 a cube a cube will be as it is and when you will do addition minus sign will be as it is but the terms will get added okay now come to the terms of square this is the term having square this is the term having square this is the term having square Okay, so you have to solve these three terms: minus five a square plus thirty-two a square minus thirty-five a square. After solving, answer will be minus eight a square. Now, plus uh, now next is the variable a. So this is the term which is having variable a, and this is the term which is having variable a. Okay, so these two terms are having same variable. So you have to add these two because both are positive. So forty plus twenty is sixty. A A is A only. Next is constant. Any other term is there which is constant? This term is there. Any other else? No. Only single term is there which is a constant. So write down plus twenty five as it is. So this will be the answer. First term is having power four. Other term having three, then two, then one, and then constant. you always have to follow this sequence first of all write down the bigger power then smaller then smaller smaller and then constant okay always used to write in this in the sequence 
so this was the a part b part you have to try by on it is same as it is in a and b part you have to follow row method okay you have to multiply this b cube with this expression then minus 4b square with this expression then minus 6 with this expression after that you have to solve if the variables are having same power solve those variables okay or those values and then uh, write down the answer now next is c part c part and d part you have to do with the column method so i'm going to solve uh, part number c it is minus 9x square plus 11x plus 2 multiply with 8x square plus 6x minus 7 okay so write in this way write down first of all this expression here first first of all mention that which method you are going to follow it is column method so write down this uh, expression under that write down the second expression okay and put here multiply sign because you are going to calculate the product now put a line here you have draw one line here okay like the way you are doing multiplication now you have to multiply this minus x 9x square with all these three terms first of all you have to multiply minus 9x square with all these three terms minus 9 into 8 9 8 is a 72 minus sign will be as it is as it is x square into x square x square into x square it will be x raised to power 4 sorry uh, mistake is there it is x raised to power 4 okay now come to this side okay now come to this side 9 uh, minus 9 in minus 9 x square uh, uh, multiply with 6 x okay so it will be 9 6 the 54 minus sign will be as it is and x square into x it will be x cube and but you have to see that you have to write diagonally first when you multiply this with this you have to write here then you have to write here and then minus 9 x square into minus 7 it will be minus minus plus 9 7 the 63 and x square will be as it is so in this way you have to write down the terms one here second is here and third is here okay in this way you have to write down the terms diagonally see you have to move diagonally in this way you have to multiply 11x with all these three terms and write in this way here here and here again diagonally okay then you have to multiply 2 with all the three terms and then again write down diagonally this is the answer when you have multiplied 2 with this with this and this this one this one and this one again you have to move diagonally okay this is when you have multiplied first term with all the terms this is the answer when you multiply middle term with all the terms this will be the answer when you multiply last term with all the terms then this will be the answer means every time you have to write down the values diagonally all right now now one more thing you can check it out after writing the uh, values you can see that the values which are coming in the column same column they are having the same variable this is x raised to power 4 this is a single term which is coming in uh, with the power x raised to power 4 now this is the second column see the variable is same x cube x cube this is the third column same variable x square x square x square this is the fourth column having same variable x and x this is the last column which is for the constant okay so variables uh, values with the same variables are coming in the same column values with the same variables are coming in the same column automatically okay now you have to add in this way minus 14 as it is plus 12 minus 74 minus 65 x plus 16 plus 66 plus 63 it will be 145 and x square will be as it is plus 88 minus 54 it will be 34 and x cube minus 72 x4 will be as it is because there is no other term which is having the same variable this is x raised to power 4 okay <clears throat> so this will be the answer <clears throat> sorry so here i have solved part number a and c 
okay now you have to uh, you have to solve b part with the same method that is column method you have to solve b part with the row method and d part with the column method and do these two parts by you okay steps will be same as it is which i have told you now let's let's move to the last question last question is simplify the following algebraic expressions these are the these are the four parts uh, in the question you have to multiply the terms and then you have to solve it simplify it okay <clears throat> so first a part is 5ab uh, in the bracket a minus 1 minus 5a square in the bracket b minus c so multiply 5ab with a it will be 5a square b then 5ab with minus 1 it will be minus 5ab then minus 5a square multiply with b it will be minus 5a square b then minus 5a square multiply with minus c it will be minus minus plus and 5a square c will be the answer now you can see that any variable any value which is having the same variable this is a square c this is a b this is a square b a square b both are having same variable this is plus 5 this is minus 5 so these two terms will get cancelled okay these two terms will be cancelled because this is positive this is negative and having having same constant same variable so what is left minus 5 ab left and plus 5 a square c left this will be the answer okay now let's move to the part number b this is c multiply c square plus c minus a square plus b square minus c square so write in this way c into c square c cube c into c plus c square open the bracket outside minus is there so in between whatever sign are there they will be they, they you have to oppose that sign they will get change okay plus become minus and minus will become plus so a square is positive so a square will become min negative b square is positive it become negative it is negative it will it will become positive whenever outside the bracket you are having minus sign then what you have to see you have to do that you have to change all the interior sign okay and all the sign will be opposite okay plus will become negative uh, minus and minus will become plus now which is uh, in, uh, c cube is only single term so write down c cube as it is c square plus c square it will be plus 2 c square now minus a square as it is minus b square as it is okay these two are the same variable so these two will be added so this is the answer of the b part okay d part you have to solve by on multiply it open the bracket c to it which are having the same variable you have to solve that terms and which are which are the which are the unique terms that you have to write as it is okay the last is d part this is the d part okay so in this you have to multiply first of all this these two bracket 4x you have to multiply with 12x then 4x you have to multiply with minus 11 then 11 you have to multiply with 12x then 11 you have to multiply with minus 11 okay now come to this side here you you just have to open the brackets because this is the one bracket this is the second bracket in between plus sign is there so you have to open the brackets only okay open the brackets now again open the bracket remove the bracket and uh, in between you have to uh, outside plus is there so whatever the sign they are having they will come as it is now just see to it which are having the same uh, same power or same variable 48 x square minus 16 x square it will be 32 x square next is minus 44 x plus 132 x it will be 73 x okay now one more 1 2 3 three terms are having this x variable so solve these two terms are constant minus 121 minus 3 it will be minus 124 okay so in this way you will get the answer 
okay so in the third question you just have to solve uh you have to multiply the terms okay and then open the brackets and then see to it which uh, any term can cancel with each other okay if uh, or the terms which are having the same variable that you have to solve you have to add it or you have to subtract it okay so this was the exercise 6.2 Okay, some parts I have given for the homework that do it very carefully in the practice notebook and then go for the fair work. But today homework is you have to do this full exercise in the fair notebook. Okay, for the doubts, for any kind of uh, like if the concept is not clear, if the steps are not clear of any question, please call me anytime. Okay, bye bye. Take care.